Hey everybody and welcome to D-Pad Experience Presents Marvel Champions. D-Pad Experience is a weekly video game podcast published on all podcast platforms. But today we are doing a five minute review on Monica Rambo, aka Spectrum. One of the, depending on when you're watching, it's more recent heroes. So here's how this works. I'm going to go over Spectrum and only her hero cards, right? Because we can play heroes in any aspect and, you know, so you can use her whatever way you want. But I'm just going to go over her hero cards and my personal opinions on her. And uh, maybe I can help you make an informed decision on if you should pick her up or not. So here we go. I'm on the clock. All right. Alter Ego form. She starts with a hand size of 6, hit points of 11, a little bit better than usual. Set up, put 3 energy form upgrades into, uh, 3 energy form upgrade uh, something or other forms into play face down. And they are these 3 energy forms. This might take a couple seconds over 5 minutes because I have to explain this. Power down. Force response. After you change to this form, turn your energy form upgrades face down. So uh, what the energy forms do, and you don't necessarily need to put them face down, it's just for you to know which one is active. I just use a counter, so I'll show you. So they're gonna be in play like this, and I just use an active counter. I put them up so I know which ones are which, and uh, I put it on the one that is currently active. So let's take a look at them. So when she flips, right, she's a one, 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 which makes it seem like she's kind of weak. Oh, she shows us a hand size of five. Energy transformation, force response. After you change to this form, choose a face down energy form upgrade, flip that car face up and change that energy form. So when she flips, she changes her energy form, okay? Uh, so we have Pulsar, which is, uh, she gets plus two defense. And after you change to this energy form, heal one damage. You see where this is going, right? You have Photon, she gets plus two thwart. After you change this energy form, remove one threat from a scheme. Then you have Gamma, which is uh, plus two attack, and after you change this form, deal one damage to an enemy. So he's sort of like a different version of Ant-Man. So basically you flip and you put, I use the counter, you can play them face down, but this is her main setup cards right here. They'll always be in play. So let's see what else she's, she has. She has Blue Marvel as a three cost ally, two thwart, two attack, three health, good line there. Uh, after Blue Marvel enters play, change energy forms. So. This allows you to change, uh, and depending on where you're at in the game, it could help you out a lot. We have her resource generators. We've got two of these, two cost upgrade, exhaust this card, and generate a printed resource on the face-up energy card. So ener um, energy, mental, or physical. We have three copies of Speed of Light. I love this card. Zero cost event, so you just play it. You change energy forms and draw a card. So maybe you need a thwart. Play it, draw a card. Maybe you got to get ready to defend, get in there, heal damage, right, and get your defense up. So it really lets you to be versatile in that aspect. We have three copies of Pulsar Shield. All right. One cost event. Hero interrupt. When Spectrum defends, change to energy form and ready Spectrum. If she was already in Pulsar energy form, she gains retaliate until the end of the phase. So let's say maybe you are were attacking and you draw this at the end of the hand. You could play this, you could defend, play this, get your plus two defense, plus two defense, right? Ready her and you'll be set. If you're already there, you get retaliate. So again, you gotta think ahead, think ahead a little bit. And I think you might know where this is going, right? You got three copies of Photon Speed, which is the thwarting version of that. Change to Photon Energy Form and remove fourth threat from a scheme. If you are already in Photon Energy Form, ignore the Crisis icon for this sort. I, these are usually very um, situational, this, this, uh, the Crisis icon one. But you can change, remove to fourth thwart for two cost. Pretty solid, you got three of these. And my personal favorite, the best card in her kit, in my opinion. Three cost event Gamma Blast, change to Gamma Energy Form and deal seven damage to an enemy. If you are already in that form, the attack gains overkill, right? So you got you got the one that you'll already be doing um, for changing to that, plus this, that's basically an eight cost, eight, eight attack for three costs. So there you are. She's, I don't think she is a new player friendly hero. She requires a lot of flipping, right? She's gonna wanna be flipping so that she can change energy forms for whenever she needs to, right? Aside from that, 
you really got to be thinking ahead of which energy form you want to play. She's actually very, um, I don't want to say complicated, but she she's very technical in, in how to use her. And But the good thing about her is she has um, a very, very high, um, aside from skill level, but just um, a very, very high threshold of doing well. My, my brain is dead. It's Sunday. I'm tired. Um, she is very, very flexible. She can basically use almost just about any aspect, right? And you can get really, really creative with her. And I think she's really fun. I don't recommend her if you're new to the game, right? But if you've been playing for a while and you're looking for something new, I actually think she's really solid. She's, I don't know if she's S tier, but she, she probably is in A tier with all of the different things she can do. My personal favorite is Justice because she, you know, wants to be flipping. So you want the threat low, you want to be confusing. But yeah, I think she's great.